Hi, welcome to uh, YouTube Shorts from S. Kumarasan at Geetam. This is the second session on Chinese Remainder Theorem Shorts. We had already proved for Chinese Remainder Theorem two congruences. X is congruent to A mod A M and X is congruent to B mod N. Then we said it has a solution if and only if A minus B is divisible by the GCD of M and N. In particular, if M and N are co-prime, the GCD is 1, then this will X congruent to A mod M and X congruent to B mod N, they are always so admit a simultaneous solution. Okay, let us go through that. So, what you have done is this, if M and N are co-prime and then X congruent to A mod M, and x congruent to b mod n okay has a solution and any two solutions differ by okay zero mod mn all these things you have seen we had proved much more general result but this all we need so now we are looking at the following equation x is congruent to a mod let us say n1 and x is congruent to a this is let us say m m1 a m is not to mn mn okay and let's also assume the g g g of m i m j is 1 if i is not equal to j their pairwise co prime okay now what we do is we are going to prove by induction when n equal to 1 or 2 result is okay okay so let us assume n is greater than or equal to 3 all right so let us assume that we have done for up to n minus 1 okay then i want to prove up to n okay so that means i can there exists a solution for these equations m k for 1 less than equal to k less than equal to n minus 1 I want to solve a n mod m n also ok there exists a solution call it by induction hypothesis there exists a solution call it z that is z is congruent to a k mod m k 1 less than equal to k less than equal to n minus 1 right now let's look at these two integers m1 to mn minus 1 and mn gcd of this okay is 1 okay therefore by our n equal to 2 result there exists okay l l y which is congruent to let us say x x which is congruent to z mod m1 to mn minus 1 and x is congruent to a n mod mn do you understand this this and these are co prime and therefore for n z and a n this is soluble is that clear now you claim x is congruent to a k mod m k for all k now that is very clear because x is congruent to z and z is congruent to a you look, let us look at that z is congruent to a k mod m k 1 less than equal to k less than equal to n minus 1 and and x is congruent to a n mod m n so we have found ok x is therefore x is a simultaneous solution of the n congruences and suppose x and y are congruent okay x is also congruent to a k mod m k and y is congruent to a k mod m k 1 less than equal to k less than equal to n 
then x minus y is congruent to 0 mod mk for all k. Therefore, x minus y, since the, these are all co-prime, we know that the x minus y, that is, mk divides x minus y for all k, the, and since these are all co-prime, m1 into mk, mn divides x minus y. That means, x minus, x is congruent to y mod m1 to mn. Okay. Now, there is one mysterious part I want to solve. The standard book will look at this like this. Let us look at, see, I want to solve x is congruent to ak mod mn. Mk, right? So, what are the simplest to think for 1 less than or equal to k less than or equal to n? Simplest thing is, fix a k huh, and put ak equal to 1 and aj equal to 0 if j is not equal to k. You understand that? So, I am asking for 0 mod m1 etc. x is congruent to 1 mod mk and then x is congruent to 0 mod mn. Okay, look at linear equations. 3, exactly the same thing we did. These are the simplest thing. By whatever we did, there exists a solution, call it x1, okay, which is, which has this problem. That is, x1 is congruent to 1 mod m1 and congruent to 0 mod mj j not greater than equal to similarly for xk right now suppose i want to solve x equal to x is congruent to ak mod mk for 1 less than equal to k less than equal to n as we did in linear equations i only have to write a linear combination take x equal to a1 x1 plus an xn then you can see x is congruent to a k mod m k for 1 less than or equal to k less than or equal to n. So, this is the proof you will see in elementary textbooks. See, this is the proof you will see in elementary number theory textbooks. Okay, They will take, will find the solution x1, x1 which is congruent to 1 mod m1 equal to 0 congruent to m2 m2 m1 the product okay they will use some notation okay capital m i equal to m 1 m 2 m n where m i is removed okay therefore you solve for x is congruent to 1 mod m i and small m i and x is congruent to 0 mod capital m i okay call it x x i then your solution is x equal to summation a x i i hope this makes you understand that naturally since it's being short i do not spend more time Okay, this is somewhat a challenging also for you. Please learn that. I hope you appreciate this. We will come back.